what's up? Al here from Alan M Gaming, and today we're going to be bringing you another Draft to Glory series episode. We didn't do very well on the last episode at all. We could only win one game, but we did manage to make the coins back. So let's get into this online draft. Fingers crossed we can pull up another Barclays Premier League team. Probably could do with changing that though, to be fair, because it's not really working for me very well. Uh, but we'll see what formations we come up with here. I've got four four two holdings there. That's the best one we did so far. I think we won three out of the four games with that last time. I don't use a 4-4 holding in Ultimate Team. I use a normal 4-4-2. Um, but we're going to rock with this. That is a tough selection to start off with. Messi, De Bruyne, Bale or Thierry Henry. I'd ignore the Miranda. Uh, I think it's going to have to be the one and only Thierry Henry, the legend himself. Let's see who he gets his strike right. It's not going to really matter. Oh, God, that's tough. Um, uh, nationalities here. Uh, we'll go with the Portuguese. Obviously, we'll end up changing him. This right mid is going to be quite important here. See who we get here. It is going to be our oh, Premier League team. We've got Mara's there uh, with the strong link, with the medium strong link. We're going to play Chris Coffey. I can never pronounce his name. It's so hard to pronounce. And the other centre defensive mid. Ooh, that new Kante card that I haven't used yet. That could be um, pretty handy. I'm not sure. Uh, how much of an upgrade it is on his usual card compared to his team of the year, but it looks a pretty nice card. The only slight thing I've got to can say is he's not very tall, um, but you know we can we can handle that. Mm. Morales used to play for Everton, but he's moved to Olympiacos. So we can't use him. So it's going to have to be Arnautovic on left mid, left back. Hopefully, we'll be able to get Danny Rose, someone like that. Oh gosh, he got that. A Gareth Bale card is really weird to me. I know it's the foot birthday thing. Uh, but I just I can't see him being any good at left back. So it's obviously going to have to be Alonso for the Barclays Premier League link up there. No one there who we can use really. So it's going to have to be nationalities again. We'll go with this Postigo because he gets a link with Alonso there. But obviously no link at all with Kante. Um, <clears throat> it's going to have to be Britos again for the Barclays Premier League link. And then right back it's going to be Valencia I do rate that Valencia card I'm trying to get it in my ultimate team but it's like 400,000 coins and it is quite a lot who do we go with out of Carnesis and Bravo who's got the better stats weirdly enough it's probably Carnesis um, so we'll go with him I don't think I've used him before I can't really remember if he's any good uh, but we are going to substitute Edison in there because he's much better than Carnesis although he doesn't get the link but don't worry about that too much because uh, hopefully we'll be able to sort that out. We're going to choose Otamendi there at centre-back and substitute him in for him. And therefore we've got the 100 cam already, guys, which is absolutely fantastic. So now it's just about improving our squad and seeing if we can get any other good players. Uh, Leighton Baines and Alonso, I think I'm fine with Alonso there, even though Baines has got better stats defending-wise, probably. Uh, we're going to choose Sterling there. Where can we fit Sterling in? Probably is a super sub at the moment because he won't fit into that 4-4-2. Let's see who else we can get. So we've got him there, David. What's his first name? Marco? A Bernardo Silva. There we go. So he can be used. Possibly use him there. I don't know which is better. Mares has got better pace and better shot, but it's only one less and two less shots. So I'm going to substitute Silva in there. Is he right footed or left footed? He's left footed, and then Mares is left footed anyway, so there's not too much difference there. Um, oh, I love Salah. I love the Salah card this year. The only thing letting him down is his two-star weak foot. That is something really hard that you've got to get your head around. On Zaha can be used as soon. So I'm hoping to get a Ronaldo or a Messi, something like that, who we can bring off it, bring on if needs be. And obviously we need to sort that striker situation out. I'm a massive fan of Hyung Son. Hyung Son is going to be substituted for Ronaldovich there. Big believer of Hyung Son on last FIFA and this FIFA. I think he's absolutely incredible. Winston Reed was pretty good on the old FIFA, FIFA 17. Uh, so we'll give him a go for whoever that was, Britos. So coming together quite nicely now. We just need a striker of some sort. Uh, otherwise, Salah's going to have to be played there, someone like that. Oh, there's the Ronaldo card that we wanted right at the end. So that's a pretty good draft, guys. Let's hopefully get a Barclays Premier League manager. No, we're going to get an EFL manager, but we'll get some links because of the English uh, nationality. So it is a 184. Let's see if we can make it a 185, 186, uh, substituting these players over. So we don't need, I don't believe you need a substitute goalkeeper at all. Substitute Arnautovic in there. 
We haven't got a centre. We've got centre back there, so we've got left. Leighton Baines can play as our centre back if needs be if we get a man sent off. There's the 185. Who can we do without here? Because we need Ronaldo in the squad. I'm probably going to substitute Zaha because we've got so many right mids. Uh, so it is going to be a 186 uh, draft to glory sort of team. So let's get into the gameplay, guys. Fingers crossed. It is a 442, so I'm feeling nice and confident uh, we can win this draft and get some sick pulls in the packs. Okay guys, so as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, we do go on to win this draft, so it's absolutely fantastic, but the first game was really, really hard, and it normally is for me in draft, I come across a 4-3-1-2, you had Sanchez up front, that's all I could get from that quick um, little clip there, but it was goals galore in this game guys, absolutely goals every, I think there was about 10 goals in this game, and that's what foot draft is like, I go 1-0 down, Sergio Ramos heads, heads in from a corner, corners are still OP on FIFA, if you get them to the near post, that's what I try and do, uh, and you can get across your front man, and you're always going to win the header, and you've got a chance to put it into the back of the net. I uh, immediately respond and get a lucky rebound then with Bernardo Silva, but as I say, guys, this guy is really good, and it is the first game that I do find really hard. This is a bit of a shit goal. Shit defending, 2-1, Kyle Walker. Why he was there, I have no idea. He must have not had him on stay back while attacking, because he wouldn't have been there at all. But he puts my opponent 2-2 up. Of course, I don't panic. Nice tick attacker play, and I think that's Ronaldo makes it 2 2. I did play with Ronaldo and Thierry Henry up front in the end. Uh, I substituted that silver striker I had for Ronaldo because Ronaldo got seven chemistry, uh, which is not too bad at all. And Thierry Henry heads me 3 2 up just before half time. I'm thinking I need to see this out just before half time now, guys. Regroup in the second half, but no, I do go 3 3. I do concede another goal just before half time. Terrible defending, so I do decide at half time to change my custom tactics. So remember, and feel these aren't the custom tactics that I played in my normal ultimate team. So these are the custom ta custom tactics that I rock for the rest of this draft and the rest of my drafts uh, that I play. And it is it, this these tactics are going to end up winning me the draft. This was the game changer for me. So I went 61 speed, 52 passing. I wanted to play a bit slower. I wanted to mix it up a bit, but I wanted to put more pressure on my opponent and try and win the ball back high. And with future games, you will hopefully uh, see that coming into fruition. Another OP corner and Thierry Henry. I think he's six foot three, six foot four. So obviously his heading ability is going to be really, really good. But it was the Thierry Henry and Cristiano Ronaldo show in all of these games I played. Uh, I didn't. Th I don't think I scored a goal um, other than my right mid, my left mid, and my two st 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 strikers. But most of them did come from my from my strikers, Thierry Henry and Cristiano Ronaldo. A lovely finish there, typical of Thierry Henry in real life and in FIFA. He scores this shit penalty for me. As long as you keep them low this FIFA, they're going to go in no matter what. Um, bit lucky to go 6-3 up there, but we'll take it nonetheless. And this was absolute AIDS, guys. I hit the post three times in a row. Once there with Thierry Henry. Son then plays the ball to Kravniak. Back to Son, to Ronaldo. Nice tick attack of play. Feeds in Kante, hits the post. Bernardo Silva surely for the rebound. My opponent's about to go and quit. That's why he paused the game, but no. Could have made it 7-3, so he's still in the game. Makes it 6-4. I'm starting to now wet myself because he's got all the momentum, guys. So I've got to keep my cool, keep the ball, keep the possession for a bit. And as I say, typical Thierry and refinish. Very similar to the other one uh, he scored. And I think my opponent does go on to quit now, guys. I'm not entirely sure. Can't remember. But yeah, he does go on to quit. So Thierry Henry, he scored five goals for me there, and Ronaldo got three assists, I do believe. So those front two partnership is working really, really well. 7-4 win, I had 19 shots, 11 on target to my, to my opponents, 13 and 6 on target. I think I deserve the win in that result. So I come across a 4-5-1 in the second uh, round. He had Suarez up front and Ronaldo on the right with Coutinho on the left. It was a La Liga side. This match was a lot easier for me. I don't know what it is about the first game. I keep repeating it, but it really is a first game. C Kante plays a lovely ball through to Thierry Henry. Lovely finesse shot into the back of the net, and I'm 1-0 up within no time. Can I just say, guys, the connection in these games was absolutely appalling. I was struggling with the lag throughout the whole of it. Poor defending in the second half pulls it back to 1-1. My opponent, nice finish there from Coutinho. I think I make some super subs now. And 10 minutes before this, this is a lovely goal. Salah, chip through ball to Ronaldo, who kind of a good goal, kind of a lucky finish, but I'll take it nonetheless in the 80th minute, and Ronaldo with his ooh celebration, I love hearing that, we will take that every day of the week, and then just to kill the game off guys, which I need to do, you need to kill games off in FIFA, because if you don't, your opponent's always got a chance of coming back into the game, should really have scored that with Thierry Ramirez, wanting him to head it, 
but I think Mares was there for the rebound. So we got a 3-1 win in the second leg, guys, and we're through to the semi-finals. That was a pretty even game, 10 shots, 7 on target. I had more of the ball. I think I deserved to win that game as well, in all fairness. So we're through to the semi-final, guys. The team I came across was a 4-4-2 with Lacazette and Team of the Year, Harry Kane, up front. I like playing across people who play in the same formation as me. Uh, I think it makes it more even. But this is nice counter-attacking play. Nice one-two, tick attacker. Feeds Thierry Henry through that tiny little gap there. That's a lovely finish. And finesse as his keeper starts to bring out past David De Gea into the top right-hand corner. Thierry Henry <coughs> isn't going to finish those. Is always going to finish those type of chances. And again, nice counter-attacking play. I'm thinking, can I make my opponent quit here? Get a lucky rebound, but we'll take it nonetheless. Thierry Henry waits for the run of Silva. And then, boom, in the back of the net for 2-0. Cristiano Ronaldo, my opponent, goes on to quit. So we're in the final, guys. I have a little bit of a break now. I don't know if that was the right thing or not to go and do. I went to go get a bit of lunch. But in that previous game, I had 7 shots, 5 on target to my opponent. 2 shots, 2 on target. I'm expecting a really tough opponent uh, to be in the final. But he's only got 86 chem in a 4-2-2-2. I don't rate that formation this FIFA, guys. He's got Hyung Min Son. I'm not sure who the other player was. Uh, but I do go on to make my opponent quit. This is a lovely goal here. Nice little, um, don't know what skill that was from Son. But plays in Henri with the left foot weak shot. I'm not sure what star weak foot he's got. I think it's probably four. Um, but it goes into the back of the net. Nonetheless, and I'm one up within no time. My opponent, though, he's obviously in the final. He must be half decent. Gets a bit of a lucky rebound off the keeper. If the keeper had a quicker reaction, someone like David De Gea, Courtois, maybe... Someone like that probably would have saved that, but I don't panic, guys. My opponent wants to make a sub. He knows I'm all over him. That is a lovely through ball. How he wasn't offside, I'm not sure. I take my time and I fire it into the bottom, the top or bottom, top left-hand corner with Thierry Henry. Most of the goals are coming from Thierry Henry. He's an absolute machine. And this goal is going to sum off my opponent and make him quick because this is awful defending. Ronaldo, that's what I like about the high pressure, the aggression I had on. That was the reason I was able to get that goal, guys. So the custom tactics do make a massive difference. And as you can see there, that little freeze frame means my opponent has gone on to quit. So we won the draft. Absolutely fantastic. 3-1 uh, in that game. Let's see what rewards we get. I can't quite remember to show you the statistics. I had four shots, three on target. It says three shots, three on target. So it's a pretty even game. I think I get a rare gold pack, which I think is a 45k pack. Rare players pack and a gold pack. So let's get in and open them, guys. Fingers crossed we can get a good pull. Alright, not going to lie guys, the amount of times this has happened to me where I've won the draft, you get a rare players pack, you get a really good pack, and then nothing comes of it. So fingers crossed, I think it's a 45k pack, we get 12 items, all players, all gold, all rare, I'm really hoping we can get something. Before we open that, we're going to open this gold pack, we're going to use up those final 100 FIFA points we've got there. Uh, anything we get here would be a bonus. We've probably made about 2,000 coins back from winning the games, maybe 2,100, something like that. So we need 13,000 coins to make back. Anything worth keeping here, I'm not sure how much they go for. So I'm just going to quick sell them. Need about 12k now, guys, to make back. It's going to be about 10 uh, with this final gold pack that we open with 100 FIFA points. So I've used up all my FIFA points now. No more left, so it's going to be coins that I'm using until I can afford to get new ones. I thought that was going to be a billboard, but it wasn't a billboard. We are going to get from that striker from the Mexican League. I think that is Polito. Never heard of him before. But this is the reason why we're here, guys. It's for this rare players pack. Can we get a good pull? Let's fucking hope so. Here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, here we go. Rare players pack. Whew. Come on. Come on, give me something, give me something, give me something. Give me a, give me a flyer, give me a flyer. We get a billboard. Good. Good. Argentinian again. Centre back. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, when you see the Argentinian flag, you just get your hopes up, don't you, completely. That's probably worse than the packs we opened on the last one, but at least we got a billboard, guys. And that's what I mean. Uh, all these players are going to be uh, gold and rare. I don't know if they're worth looking for how much they go for. Let's just have a quick look. Hopefully 3 or 4k. Yeah, 4k there. We are going to make our money back, guys. It's not the end of the world. 
and we can go into the next draft. Fingers crossed we get a 442 in the next one. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, I'm just going to send them all to the transfer list for now. If you did enjoy this video, guys, then please, 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 please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done already. It really, really, really fucking does help me out. But for now, this is Al signing out from LNM Gaming. See you in the next video, guys. Catch you later.